Hey guys, welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. And in this episode, we're going to Aweno. But before we do, man, I gotta spend some app points. Obviously, I haven't been able to see what every single app will give me, but basically, one that I recommend everybody get is Auto Pinpoint. So basically, when you trigger an auto battle, the game will just make you use your normal attacks. But with Auto Pinpoint, if you know the enemy's weakness, it will do what it's weak to, making grinding and leveling up a whole lot easier. Honestly, in my opinion, you don't really need to grind in these games, but since I'm making videos, I might have to. Also, skill expansion plus one, that's kind of mandatory. It's hard to beat the game with just four skills, and I guess with our remaining points, we'll just get more demon spots. No reason not to do that, I guess. I'm not using the app points either way, but yeah, I plan to recruit some demons in this episode that are not from Kinchi Park. And speaking of demons, we should talk to them sometimes. Make Pulimpa to Dia. Oh, that's actually a great change. Okay. Spinny, spinny, boom. Same, man. Same. Uh, and you want to give me a Zeo stone? Cool. So, this was a mechanic from the previous game, but it wasn't handled in this way. Basically, sometimes after a battle or during a battle, demons would just give you random items. But I guess now it's been changed to down here. And let's see what Navar can do. I don't want to see how he acts in battle. I mean, so far, Asahi's been pretty darn strong. It's going to be hard to outdo her and allow me to handle it. Okay, Navar. Go for it. Even though I doubt Navar's going to be very helpful because he wasn't really the best samurai in the world. But hey, maybe in the afterlife he figured out how to be slightly more useful. And, huh? and you get past your bro. You going to let me in? Cool. But before we head out, isn't there something you need to do first? We're real deal hunters now. Do the thing. Come on, you know what I mean. That app. It beeps and sends all these scanny squares. Starting to feel like a real hunter now. Ready to head to Ueno? Scanny squares. Heck yeah, I love that. <laughs> I'm actually really happy they brought that back. Does it do anything? <sighs> Not really too sure, but you know what? Hey, it's a cool animation. Anyways, the demons here in Kenshi Park are gonna start to be a lot more aggro, and I actually need to make mention of this. If you wanna go to the underground district really quickly, you can take that manhole, it just takes you down there. Oh, a dead body. Whenever we come across an ally who died in the line of duty, we have to report it. We copy their phone data, and then send the info back to the Hunter Association. After we send the report, we're allowed to claim any unused AP they have. Only thing we can do is push ourselves harder as Hunters, to honor their memory. So yeah, dead bodies for once aren't actually a bad thing to see because we get free app points. Yeah. That's the only reason I'd even interact with them, if I'm being honest. And yeah, they just disappear. <laughs> well, they invasion there. Lack thereof. But yeah, three AP may not seem like a lot. Don't worry, it starts to add up, which the lack of different ways to get AP was definitely a problem in the previous game and I'm just I, I know it's annoying to keep listing all the improvements but seriously there's a lot also yeah more scanny squares I like that aesthetic anyways now we can venture a little bit more in the overworld we technically could do this I don't think there's too much to do here we could have done this before but now I guess is when we'll be doing it a little more often and okay we got a gremlin and that ghost thing the die book I kind of want to recruit that gremlin, I'm not going to lie, since we technically can't recruit the other demon yet. So let's give that a shot. Not, oh, we missed. That's a bummer. Alright, see if it's weak to, okay, it is weak to ice, that's good. So some of the weaknesses have switched a tiny bit from what I can gather. I believe the gremlin is now a fire type demon. Actually, no, it's not fire at all. Instead of being, oh, and he has Makuka. That's actually really good, holy crud. But yeah, he's not ice any, or electricity anymore, he's ice. So that's different. And we already have a lot of ice damage on our team, but 
I might fuse this guy into something else, so I want to try and recruit him now. So, uh, you're gonna join me, Gremlin? And it makes no sense for you to be ice, by the way, but, uh, yeah, let's lower our guard, I guess. Hmm, you got guts. I like it. I'll listen to you. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And the humans are stupid, right? Uh, I'm not stupid. Well, shake your head makes it like, you can shake your head up and down and, oh, you're stupid, that'll quiz you. Humans won't know the answer, though. What does a poor man have that a rich man needs? Uh, dignity seems like too easy of an answer. That's what I would answer, but we're using demon logic here, so I'm just gonna say, screw that. Screw that, uh, I don't know that word. You're mocking me. I'll kill, god dang it. Maybe I didn't give him enough credit. I probably should have just picked the answer I was thinking of. All right, that's not the end of the world, though. Luckily, our main character's fast enough, so it'll just be the start of his turn again. Okay. Demon's on guard. What will you do? Let's lower a weapon to sit your side. What the? So this is why I usually don't do demon negotiation on screen, because, yeah. It gets a little tedious. Honestly, though, it's the thing in SMT that I love and hate. Or I guess I love to hate. Or... Hate to love? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Demons are rolling around laughing. Uh... Let's laugh with him, I guess. You made the vote of you, little brat! Uh, no, no, I, uh... I was laughing with you, not at you and teacher. You alright, you know, we're friends from now. He just wanted to be called teacher. Okay. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, Mr. Gremlin. Hopefully you're, uh... Strong in battle, I guess. And we got a Mudo Stone for doing that. Nice. Not bad, but yeah, that's usually why I don't do demon negotiation on screen. It takes a while. Not bad. And it seems Noval is impressed with our work. All right, not that I care what he thinks, but yeah, actually, letting our demon change his move was a really good idea because now we have someone with Dia, which I forgot how important that was. But because I don't want him to die, I think I'm gonna replace him with Gremlin for the time being. And wow, he has 22. De Holy crud! Centaur having 22 decks this early in the game is pretty high, but yeah. Sudama's magic stat isn't even that great. Gremlin's isn't either, but it's just like a couple points higher, so I think I'll be using Gremlin for a tiny bit. And, well, we already made it to Ueno. Forgot how small this game is, really. Like, <laughs> getting from, like, the place we just were to Ueno would probably take, like, I guess it's like a couple of blocks, but still. Be a long walk, that's all I'm trying to say. Anyways, Ueno, more scanny squares. I like this game a lot. So, the first thing that you're gonna... Crap. <laughs> totally missed. First thing you're gonna notice when you come here to Ueno, the layout is the same, but a couple things have changed from Shin Megami Tensei 4. And the fact that, uh, yeah, entering the underground district takes a little bit longer. So we gotta weed suit through some demons first. And speaking of, let's see what this guy has to offer. Oh, it's a little dragon, guys. It look like watermelons. The zoo to... I don't give a crap. Well, I assumed a dragon would be weak to ice because, you know, the cold blood and all that crap. But, uh, doesn't look that way. Fire's not doing too much either. Uh, it's probably electricity. And that's just totally random. But, yeah. I guess another thing they changed from Shimogami Tensei 4. Taru Kaja boosts your physical attacks. While in this game, Maku Kaja... Please don't kill... Okay, good increases your magic attacks. So now there's four different ways to buff yourself, which is usually part of the course in most... Okay, what? That's so random, come on! <laughs> it's usually part of the course in some of the mainline games, but sometimes they switch it around for some of the spin-offs, which is mostly what I play on this channel. But anyways, we're just gonna try... Oh, come on! Okay, this is starting to get annoying. I think I need to level up my team maybe a bit more, or at least get rid of my demons. A rule of thumb with your demons is that you don't want to be attached. Being attached is the worst thing you can do to a demon. Basically, because they're meant to be flexible. Once they fulfill their duty, their job is done, and you should fuse them into something stronger. That's just how the franchise works. Obviously, you can get by without doing it like that, but most of the time, you just want to make sure you have a myriad of different demons. So far, things are not looking too hot. Uh, we kind of need a healing place because Sudam. Oh, look at this little guy. I'm pretty sure I know what this demon's gonna be. Please tell me. Okay, it is awesome. So Jack the Ripper, the uh, least friendly of the Jack Bros, <laughs> um, is pretty much weak to fire. I'm not sure if that's like he's supposed to be a zombie or something. Rule of thumb: most enemies in this game that look undead are gonna be weak to fire. I guess that's not an SMT thing, but more so uh, just a generic. 
fantasy RPG trope that we've had for like literally 20 years now, but I guess it does make sense. But yeah, I really want to get this guy because I am obsessed with the Jack Bros. Anytime there's a chance I can use them in a playthrough, I definitely want to do that. And, uh, crap, we can't recruit this turn. And no, don't kill it, Navar! God dang it. Oh man, I actually did a lot of damage. Hmm. Yeah, I might try... If I don't recruit him this time, I'll recruit him off screen because I just love this guy. Even though he is... His face looks kind of ugly, not gonna lie. The demon's approaching you, what will you do? I guess just stand still and... He's not moving, let's get him, boy! Aw, oh, crap. Well, I don't know who you're talking to, you're kind of by yourself, buddy. Uh, yeah, he's kind of beating the crap out of my team, but I still want him, man. Even though I said don't show favoritism towards demons. I want to show favoritism towards demons and get this demon. He looks adorable. All right, uh, he's going to leave. If we just just ignores you and leaves. Oh crap! Oh, peace out. That was really uneventful. Yeah, I'm not getting. <laughs> I got lucky in the beginning with demon negotiation, but so far it's been pretty terrible. And I need you some items to heal up. When you first get into an area, logically it should be the hardest time to survive since the level discrepancy is so high. So honestly. Just don't get discouraged if that happens. Sure, you could probably come into an area, get your butt kicked, but you know, hang out there for a little while and you'll probably be fine. Also, what the heck is... What is up with that wall? You guys see that? It's weird. Anyways, I want to try and get some relics and see if I can't find any treasure. By the way, early on, you're probably going to be strapped for money a lot of the times because that's just how the game works. So I'm going to try and like farm as many relics as I can just so we have like a sort of bank, if that makes any sense. You're going to start to realize that you're probably not going to spend a lot of money on gear necessarily. So much as you're probably going to need to summon demons and resummon them. And we'll get to that probably in the next episodes. Because I don't plan on doing any demon fusion in this episode. But I just want to say right now, wow, it is miles better than in pretty much every other game so far. Uh, I kind of want to show off some of the enemies here. But at the same time, I'm incredibly unprepared to do so, if that makes any sense. Like, are we... We're not on good HP or MP. We really need to find the healing spot. We also need to find the quest giver, who's, I'm pretty sure, over here, since that's where she was in the previous game. And I gotta stop talking about the previous game, god dang it. A lot of cars here, like that, how it uses a... It doesn't make an invisible wall, it just uses cars as a thing. And Okay, sweet, some new demons. So, uh, got Kaso and the Hooligan. Interesting. Yeah, Kaso, it's like a rat Chinese thing, I think. I don't know. I always forget the Eastern, like, uh, things, and I'm not... Hmm, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be weak to Needle Shot. So I'm just going to focus down the Queso first, but... Yeah, um... He looks really funny. <laughs> It, it, I guess he's like a zombie gangster. I don't I don't know, man. A, not a gangster. A hooligan. And thanks for the buffs, buddy. Not gonna lie, buffs are kind of one of the best things in this entire game. Like, okay, I said the most important rule to... Oh, God. The most important rule to Shin Megami Tensei. Save often. Use buffs. That's probably the second... No, that's... I can't... I don't know if that's the most important thing or not, but... I want to see... Uh, doesn't show me what he's weak to right now. I honestly can't... I have no idea. He's not going to be weak to... F I could try this. Oh, he's weak to ice? That makes no sense! Alright, well, you learned something new, I guess. So, yeah. We lost the demon during that battle. That is why having a lot of demons is a good idea. Because you have backup in case some die in the line of duty. And I think there's something up here. I kind of want... Wait, how do you... Oh, like that. Okay, I gotcha. I want to check out what's up here. Hmm... God dang, that fight was tough. Oh my god, that was brutal. Basically, that was a fight with a hooligan and a queso again, but, uh... Yeah, for some reason, they just tore me to pieces. <laughs> so I had to run away, but you know what? Me and the centaur are fine. It's not a big deal, though, because we're very, very close to a healing opportunity. And basically, once we get there, we'll be in the safe zone, if that makes any sense. Hey! Hold up, you guys! Are you two here about the quest? Oh! <clears throat> Are you Nozomi, our client? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah! That's me! Quest giver Nozomi! R right Well, let's get down to business. Give me the deets. The who, what, where. 
I mean, the only thing your request says is that we need to stop a fight. Yeah, in the fairy forest. The fairy forest? Never heard of that. This is a place in Tokyo? Yeah, you can get to the fairy forest using a terminal. A terminal? But you can only travel to places you've already registered at. And we've never been to the fairy forest, so using a terminal wouldn't work for us. No problem. We can use Nozomi's smartphone. I borrowed it from Nozomi. Uh, so you're going to take us there? I'm not Nozo- I mean, yes, I'm Nozomi. Nozomi is me. Hmm. Anyway, about that quest, Nozo- I'm in trouble! Right. Well, this is more than a little suspicious. What do you think, Nanashi? You'll help? Wow! Thank you so much! <laughs> well, don't thank us just yet. Haven't even gotten started. Let's head over to the terminal then. Ueno's terminal room is at the far end of the underground district. And all right, we finally made it to the underground district, which means I can revive my demons and not be on the verge of death anymore, and man. The Ueno Underground District was one of the first settlements of the first game, and it feels kind of cool to be back here. When I say the first game, I mean Shin Megami Tensei 4, and you hear of a place called the Fairy Forest? It's supposed to be somewhere in the city. That sounds like something. I suppose it ain't dangerous. I'd love to check it out. Uh, no, I haven't heard of that, but I guess I have now, and... Hey, is that strange green thing? No, never mind. I must be tired. I'm cold. Maybe I caught some... Oh, you guys are talking about Navarre, and what's Yo. up with you, dude? You that Taima from the Shurikai and Yuriko from the Ring of Gaia are both dead? Flynn did it! I know all about it! And I guess now I do too, yeah. Everyone really digs Flynn. Cool, f cool. A lot of people like me, well, I guess because I'm just starting out. Now the moment of truth. What's your pleasure? It's healing free. Is it? No, it's not. God dang it. Ah, it's just a hundred maka, no big deal. And Alright, I guess he's giving us some... Food? You're actually gonna eat that? Not that I care. Alright. Uh, <laughs> I guess he's judging my food intake? I mean, from what I can gather, it seems like, you know, decent food. I mean, we can't be too picky down here in Tokyo, and I, mean, I hope to see you alive again, too. So I can keep eating more of your food, but, uh, yeah, now we need to find the to- Oh, okay, that's right over there. Awesome. So it's in the same spot it was before, which I guess is kind of one of the perks of playing the fourth game so often is I kind of know where everything's going to be in this game to an extent, so that's kind of cool, I guess. But inside here is the teleporter. Here it is! Let me just register the Ueno terminal with my phone real quick. This is taking too long. How about I just do it for you, kid? Entering search mode. Scanning. Link established. Terminal successfully added. You may now travel between registered terminals. Remember, you can only transport to terminals you've already registered. And you can only register new terminals in person. Good thing Dad already registered Kinchicho Terminal for us. A device that only takes you places you've already been. Not exactly adventurous. Here, use Nozomi's phone, I mean my phone, to get us to the fairy forest. Are you giving this to us? You can't have it. It's Nozomi's. Give it back later. Right, of course. <laughs> okay then, select Yoyogi. Terminal. Well, I suppose it is. Yeah, so terminals are pretty much gonna be how you're going to be fast traveling in this game, and well, this is probably the last time you'll ever see this cutscene, so take it in. Because it's really long and unnecessary. But it's really cool, too. <laughs> I don't like the whole complete on it. It's not too bad. 
Yeah, I love that sound effect so much. Oh man, the sound effect design in this game is so solid. Honestly, you'll just be thinking about it for probably months and months. But this is the Shinjuku region, and I guess is the fairy forest area. Backs up with this. Well, the rock this big, no one will ever be able to get in. I worked up a sweat. Oh, well, I guess they want protection or something. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, let's check out this forest. Looks pretty interesting from the. Oh my god. This looks absolutely amazing. Oh my, well, I guess this is the first real dungeon of the game, since it went, was kind of a pushover, despite me kind of getting my butt kicked, and... There's no music, oh man, that, that animation's actually, like, super fluid, what the heck? I mean, it's, it's cool, I'm just saying it's kind of over-realistic in a sense, and man, look at that view. Gotta love the art direction in this game so much. I could probably make a video talking about just that, but you know, that doesn't have demons in it, so, and oh my god. This place looks just like an area in the first Persona game. And I'm really, really digging that. This is awesome, man. <laughs> Cherry blossom tree. Wonder how tall it is. I know, right? Hmm? You people. Space, Napaya. Back it up, homegirl. She's... she's a fairy! A demon! Is this some kind of trap? Hold the phone. Are you two hunters? Wait, everyone settle down. Napaya's harmless. She's nothing like the angels and demons you're probably used to. We're not part of that whole mess. We just want to eke out a peaceful life here. And you are? I'm Nozomi, the real Nozomi, leader of the fairy folk. You're a human in charge of the fairy forest? Long story, just is. In order to save the fairies, I inherited their queen's powers. But I used to be a hunter, just like you. Photographer, on the side. On the side, Balderdash. One isn't the king of Mikado and a custodian. Who asked you, slime ball? Can't a queen have hobbies? Wait, you can see me and hear you. What's the deal with a strange pompadour poltergeist, anyhow? A strange pompad, pompad. Strange and pompous, am I? Allow me to show you strange and pompous. Who are you talking to? Uh... Your pal here is being haunted by a little green ghosty. Hear you? Little, I am incorporeal. I is of no matter to the great samurai Navarre. The great samurai Navarre. Sorry. What's he doing? Is Nanashi okay? I'm. The thing is. I'm mentoring the boy. Indeed, I'm his own private guiding light. Without me, why, he'd be a leaf in the wind, directionless, hopeless, and dead. Seems pretty harmless. I was gonna handle things earlier, but uh, can't seem to find my phone. 
Must have lost it this morning. Can't summon demons without it, though. Just take my phone without asking first, you know. But you said you wanted help. You look so serious. I just thought I'd go find someone to lend a hand. We all promised to be in this together. I just wanted to help. I'm sorry. Hard to stay mad after all that. I'll let it slide. But just this once. <laughs> and Napaya. Thanks. What's up, Danu? I am Danu, mother of the Tuathene, and source of Nozomi's fairy queen powers. I am also mother to Dagda. You know of whom I speak, don't you? What's she talking about? The Green Phantom is not the only entity that's taken a liking to your friend. What?! Why are you such a ghost magnet, Nanashi? It seems you are caught in the web of Dogda's scheming. Maybe I should have Dad take you to get exercised. No! I don't want to die again! Sorry to cut in, Danu, but we still need to take care of our other headache. Of course. I apologize. Let us deal with problems here in the forest first. Well, queen's gotta do what a queen's gotta do. So, you guys care to pitch in? You mean, help stop that fight or whatever? Not a fight, per se. One of the fussier fairies has taken over the spring. Everyone should have equal access to the spring, but this one dude's hogging it up. What's so special about this spring? No clue. Home Slice just went banana cakes about it all of a sudden. Well, let's just go there and ask him what his deal is. I'll tag along. In case things get rowdy. I'm sure we'll be fine. Right, Nanashi? If you say so. Don't worry. We're professional hunters. Let's go. partners like crazy we just got navar and now we got nozome who man i love her voice actress anyways let's check out what uh she does mix of offensive and oh she specializes in gun skills i totally couldn't tell because she has a giant shotgun but yeah let's see what she can do in battle i'm a bit curious and i kind of need to resummon my demons since they all died and i kind of don't want to the problem is early on your demons are going to have a lot of weaknesses, and sometimes they can kind of get in the way if they also don't have resistances. So I'll swap that around, and oh god. It's got to jump straight off the bat. And okay, we're actually encountering fairies here in the fairy forest. I'm not sure how Nozome is going to feel about us killing them, but I guess they have some reason to fight us. But yeah, I'm not really too sure what this pixie is weak to. Most of the time they use Zeo attacks in other SMT games, so... I kind of don't want to do that. Let's see what the Bill Wiss is weak to. Has Bill Wiss always been a fairy? No, oh, it's a brute. What the heck is it doing here then? Nah, I guess not exclusively a fairy forest because that'd be kind of... Oh, well, it's weak to bullets. I wish I knew that a lot sooner. It's going for Zahn. That's a tiny bit different. I'm still unsure. Oh, God, I got poisoned. All right. <laughs> this is not looking good. I wanted to explore a bit of this 
place in this episode, but it looks like I might have to use some preparing and Okay, so yeah, it's definitely not weak to Zeo. What the heck then? It has to be weak to something. It wasn't weak to bullets. <sighs> this is annoying. <laughs> There's a lot of this game, by the way, just trying random attacks until you figure out what the enemy's weak to. I really don't want to die. So let's heal up and Did I use? <sighs> yeah, it's not weak to that either. Is it weak to fire? I don't really care. Whatever. Let's just we'll figure it out later and then use auto pinpoint. It won't even be a problem. But yeah. The fairy forest seems a little deadly. Don't push yourself. Don't run Nozomi. I got it. I got it. I think. Anyways. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. I am actually blown away by this dungeon. I'm not going to lie. I'm really excited to explore this place. And I hope you are too. Because in the next episode of Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse, we explore the fairy forest with our newly fused demons. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.